And we're hearing with 21 laps to go, race leaders will be coming this time by. So it looks like they will make 20 laps on this load of fuel. Oh, and we have a crash by Vitor Mira. And that looks to be turn number eight. Take a look. Vizo underneath. Oh, yeah. He knew he was there. Vizo gets on the gas. Vitor had left him space, had left him room, a very gentlemanly type driving. Now watch on Vitor's car. He's gonna get a bit of a draft. DJ Vizo's looking. They come in the braking zone. And he can sense that he's there. He leaves some room, and EJ Vizo just goes towards the outside of the curbing and takes a normal line as if there was not a car on the outside and just basically takes out Vitor Mira. He has reason to be not very happy. All right, as we get ready to go back to green flag racing, Scott Dixon has Darren Manning in his sights. Oh, no, and what happened here? That is Milka Duno and A.J. Foyt the fourth. I'm trying to pick out where on the track this has happened. Jack, uh, you've got more from the pits? Yeah, this just can only help Darren Manning in his quest to make ethanol with this race car. You know, we're right on the edge. Looked at A.J. Foyt and his son Larry Foyt, asked him how close they were going to be. Neither of them wanted to change their steely gaze. You've got to remember as we take a look at A.J. Foyt, the fourth and Milka Duno, and I should add that for Milka Duno, Robbie Buell brought a driving instructor in this weekend. Carmen Etchendinger's son, Peter, was the fellow that was brought in because Robbie and he worked at the Skip Barber Driving School together, and they talked all weekend to her about for, for Milka to try and maintain as much focus and push herself as much as she could. Now, keep an eye way in the back of the field. Everybody's trying to get close to each other, getting ready for the restart. And as you can see, it looked like Milko got to being accelerating and she was going to hit the car in front, so she locked up her brakes, tried to avoid the car in front, maneuvered to the right, and at the same time, seen looked like she took out A.J. Foyt the fourth. So we continue. Here in Watkins Glen, do you have enough fuel to go the distance? Yes, we do. We're, I just turned him, uh, told him a while ago we're talking about trying to burn some fuel off because we got a full load of fuel. We don't need trouble, fuel. trouble, AJ. And it looks like Scott Dixon was involved, guys. And so is Ryan Briscoe. What is going on today? Boy, just after I finished saying that for Scott Dixon, he just had to get to the end and collect points and take advantage of the other guys that had problems. Roger Penske looking on at the big screen here at the track, and Dixon is stalled. Doesn't look like there's severe damage of any kind on his car, but the nose of Briscoe's car is damaged. Here's your race leader. Yeah, he Boy, did spin. He did spin. And Boy, is that uncharacteristic for a champion and a driver of the caliber of Scott Dixon? All right, let's go on board with Scott Dixon. Listen in. Just getting back on the gas. You know, it's strange because he wasn't coming up to the start. It's almost like he thought that he was about ready to go for a restart. He was too far behind Manning. He just steps out on him from Ryan Hunter Ray's perspective. Boy, and he almost clipped a wheel. Because on the restart, really, <laughs> Bobby Ray is very happy because he knows two prime contenders right now are uh, out of it. And for Chip Ganassi, he's just going, man, what is going on here? But Marty, overall, for a guy like Darren Manning, he's going to love it. Briscoe doesn't get a chance to win. Roger Penske returns after being away for a couple of events, and he sees all this going on. And the points championship now is... Uh, Getting uh, a little different. Seems to have the fastest time. A lot of traffic behind all of the action up front. That is Marco Andretti. Oh, no, another crash. This is the 34 of Jamie Kamara. And another full course yellow comes out. With Ryan Hunter Ray's going, boy, I didn't want to see this, but Darren Manning says, okay, all right. I've learned something. I made a mistake here on the restart. I bet you he'll take advantage of this. Let's go back and take another look, see what happened to Jamie Kamara. Uh, just loses it. The On same the entrance to the turn, the same place that Tony Kanaan, I believe, had a problem this morning. That's right, that's exactly what I was gonna say. It looked like the very same spot where Tony had his problem. So Ryan Hunter-Ray is your race leader. 